Hi everyone, LJ Aguinaga here, and this week I'm gonna to talk to you about the effects of being self-employed when purchasing a property or potentially doing a burr like we saw last week. So being self-employed has a lot of benefits, whether it has to do with tax write-offs or the fact that you have a little bit more control on your schedule and all these things are fantastic. However, what you have to consider is that the way a bank is going to look at you changes dramatically. The first thing is if you are self-employed, a bank is going to want to see at least two years of notice of assessments to get the average of the income that you're making over that period. What this means is that if you just started a company or if you just became self-employed, you're realistically not going to qualify for a loan that year. Okay, so you have to do at least two years worth of legwork. Secondly, it's quite common for people who are self-employed to utilize as many write-offs as possible in order to lower their taxable income. Nobody likes to pay tax. I understand that. Everybody understands that. However, the more write-offs you use, the less income you will have to show, and therefore, the lower amount that you will have to prove to the bank that you are actually eligible for in terms of a loan. Because the bank looks at what amount is left over for you, and therefore, what can you pay with that amount. And that's why it's super important to be very cautious when using write-offs and when trying to balance your books. Beyond that, if we're looking at it from a Burr perspective or from an investment perspective, you have to keep in mind the fact that if you're going to do this, I always recommend keep your job until you've purchased the property and then after that consider changing jobs or consider going self-employed or becoming that independent consultant or anything like that. It's always easier to get a loan from a bank when you are currently an employee of a larger corporation. They see it as a lot safer and because of that you're going to get a lot of benefits that come along with it. It might be a lower rate, it might be a better term, amortization, etc. So try and utilize that before making the change if at all possible. These are my tips for becoming self-employed and what are the risks that have to do with financing. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you so much. I'll catch you next week. Take care.